Now, Apple today rolled out a new iPhone with the look of an iPhone 5S, but with specs identical to the flagship iPhone 6S. Our reporter Xu Xinchen had a quick look at it and tells us more. Starting at 3,000 to 300, the new iPhone SE can easily cost over 4,000 yuan if you add on extra storage space. While the phone looks the same as the three-year-old iPhone 5S, its performance has been powered up. This new phone is powered by the same chip as the iPhone 6S. It is twice as fast as the iPhone 6. Apple Pay is also installed, and people can just press the home button to pay. But did people get hooked up with a smaller iPhone? There were mixed reviews. The smaller size is convenient to carry in a pocket. iPhone's touch screen is really fast. Especially for business people like me, a bigger screen is more convenient. Sending emails and typing can be difficult on SE. It's too small. Despite the mixed responses from shoppers, there are reports saying that over 3 million iPhone SEs have been pre-ordered in China. Still, an iPhone authorized retailer Sony told us that only 500 iPhone SEs have been sold in Shanghai as of early this afternoon. A market analyst we spoke to says that while the iPhone SE looks good and does have enhanced performance, small screens may not be the way to go in China's market right now. The iPhone SE is a good value for the money, but in China people are chasing after bigger screens. In the near future, the market for bigger screens will continue to grow due to the better media experience bigger screens offer, as well as users' increased demands for video media consumption. iPhone SE screen is 4 inches on the diagonal. Tech review website ZOL.com lists over 2,000 different phone models in China with a screen bigger than 4.4 inches. Only half that a number of models are smaller. Xu Xinchen, ICS for CCTV, Shanghai.